Hi there! My name is Miss Andrea and I am the Children's Librarian at the West Ashley Library. Thank you so much for joining me today for this fun craft. Today I want to show you how to make your very own chrysalis with a beautiful colorful butterfly inside. This is a fun way to engage with others and interact um, and make a craft and also while talking and learning together and discovering the life cycle of caterpillars into butterflies. So thank you for being with me today. Let's get started. So to begin, I started with all of the painting parts um, to allow my materials time to dry. Um, First, I started by painting a clothespin. Um, I have created a palette here with a paper plate. Um, any flat surface would work. Um, and you can use any craft paints. Um, I used acrylics for this project. And a cup with water and a paintbrush. And so, you will spread the paint on the clothespin to color the body of the caterpillar. And be careful not to get too much paint on the insides. The paint will dry. Um, if it does, that's okay. You may just have to force your clothespin open after it dries. So I'll put this aside and allow it to dry. And then the other part of this project that involves paint is very fun. So I took a coffee filter and you can use any paints that you want. I really like these dot art paints. They're very low mess and I like the colors. And these are washable. So although you can see by my hands I've already been painting today. And so you'll color your coffee filters and like I said you can use other methods too you can use a traditional brush and you can paint designs that you want onto the wings okay and then the fun part is if you have you don't have to do this but if you have a spray bottle of water I sprayed and this is going to make the colors bleed a little bit and run and then you can put this aside as well as your clothespin and give it time to dry once all your materials are dry you're going to take your clothespin and you're going to take your dry coffee filter and you're going to fold it over and then back underneath and back and forth in a fan fold. And one more. And we'll put that aside. Now you'll take a pipe cleaner and you're going to cut it in half. This will be the caterpillar's antenna. And we're going to open, see my clothespin, I had to force it open a little bit, so I must have had a little bit of dry paint in there, but that's okay. Um, so you'll open your clothespin and insert 
the pipe cleaner and holding it open. You can wrap it around more than once to make short little antenna. And no two are alike. If yours is a little bit different, that's unique and that is okay. Mine's a little longer on this side, so I'm gonna trim it. There. Now, for the pom-poms and the googly eyes, you may need to ask a grown-up for help with this part. You can use different size googly eyes too. I liked, I had small ones here at the library. And it's okay to have a craft that you need some assistance from your grown-ups too. It can provide a nice bonding activity to do together. So I'll kind of pull apart the excess glue and caterpillars are cute and fuzzy and soft. You could make this craft without the pom-poms if you don't have any. It would work just as well, but the, the pom-poms help make it soft and fuzzy. All right, so then we'll take our wings and open our clothespin again and just sort of tuck them in there. And so here we can fold our wings down and tuck them into our chrysalis or a cocoon. And when you're ready, you can push it out and see the beautiful butterfly that it has become. Yay! All right. There are so many wonderful books at Charleston County Public Library talking all about the life cycle of caterpillars and butterflies and chrysalis and cocoons. Um, so please feel welcome to visit ccpl.org and place holds in our catalog for those books. And also please follow us on Facebook for all kinds of other fun summer reading programs. Thank you so much for joining me today for this craft. Take care.